Hello children, the theme of month of April is Earth and Environment. Our Earth is made out of many different land and water forms. And today we're going to learn how to make our own land and water forms using flour, water, salt and oil. But before we start, let's see what basic land and water forms we have on our planet. In our school, for learning, we use these cards. Let's see what we have here. This is lake. Lake is a body of water completely surrounded by land. This is an island. Island is a piece of land completely surrounded by water. This is Gulf. Gulf is an arm of the sea extending far into the land. This is Peninsula. Peninsula is a body of land extending far out into the water. This is straight. It's a narrow body of water placed between two pieces of land that connects two larger bodies of water. And this is an isthmus. Isthmus is a narrow portion of land placed between two bodies of water that connects two larger pieces of land. Now, enough talking, let's get started. For this activity to make your own land and water forms, we will need two cups of flour, one cup of water, half a cup of salt, and two tablespoons of oil. And we're gonna mix it all together in a bowl. So I'm gonna start by putting my flour in the bowl. I'm not gonna use it all immediately because I might have to add some later. And inside the flour, I'm gonna make a little hole. where I'm going to put my salt, my oil, and my water. Now to start with, I'm gonna use my spatula to start mixing, but afterwards I'm gonna use my hands. It's gonna be messy, but you're gonna love it. It needs to come together like a Play-Doh. All right, guys, keep mixing and I'll see you again later. it on my board and we're 
we're going to divide it into six pieces because remember we had six uh, land and water forms. So let's try to divide it into six equal pieces. First, I'm going to cut it into thirds. If your dough is still sticky, you can add some more flour to it. So here I have my six bowls of dough that I'm going to form by using my hands into the land and water forms. I'm going to show you only one for now and you can continue making all three. I will make sure to send you pictures so you can use the pictures as a reference in making your shapes. So I have decided to make a straight. And remember that the straight is a narrow slip of, strip of water that's separating two parts of land. So first you roll or spread your dough into a square. A good idea might be, as you can see my dough is sticky, to put some flour on your board. That way your dough will not be sticking to it. All right, now that I have my square, let's say this is my square, it's not perfect, but try to make it as perfect as possible. All right, now I have to make here a narrow strip of water. Since it's water, it has to go below the level of the land. Now, it doesn't really look like the one we have in cards, but after our land and water forms are dry, we're going to paint them. Try to press it as much as possible because we'll, the dough will rise a bit. All right. Now that I'm happy with my straight, I'm going to put it on the side to dry. And the dough will harden. After that, it's going to be ready for painting. All right. Now I can continue making my other shapes, forms. Okay, I'm going to show you one more. If I want to make the isthmus, which is a strip of land that's separating two bodies of water, I have to press down where the water should be. So 
so my isthmus will rise above the level of water. I can use my fingers to pinch and to press to make it look as similar as possible to the ones we have in our cards. Alright guys, have fun forming your land and water forms and once they are dry, we're going to start painting them. Bye!